Oh, hi there! It's Julius again from So It's Your Style and today we have a very special fun project for you. We are going to be doing a little bit of quilting and we are going to be working with vinyl. And stay tuned because I have a very special tip on how to work with vinyl on your sewing machine. So the project that I'm going to be working with today are called project bags. Now they come in three different sizes. You have the small one, you have the medium one, and the large one. Now this is really great if you want to get organized. You can actually put in your tools, your notions, your uh, documents, your sewing patterns, your ongoing projects. This is a great bag for you. Let me tell you why. So this bag has a vinyl front which makes the content very clear, easily uh, accessible. It has a zipper. I would recommend using a handbag zipper because it's wider in width and at the back it's quilted and we have used or I have used a cotton batting just to give it a little bit of stability. Alright, so to make this project, let's get started and I'll show you the materials that we're going to use. You're going to need two pieces of fabric, fabric A and fabric B. Fabric A is cut smaller than fabric B. You need a contrasting fabric for binding and you're going to need some cotton batting or polyester batting, whichever it will work. A zipper. I recommend using handbag zippers because they're wider in width. And you're going to need some cutting tool like a rotary cutter and a scissor. You're also going to need vinyl. Um, look for a medium weight vinyl, should be clear. You're going to need some wonder clips, some pins, a heat erasable marking pen, and a long ruler. So the machine that I'm going to be working with today is the Brother FS60X. It's the extra tough machine. I have unboxed this before. If you haven't seen that video, Please check that out and maybe this is the machine that you're looking for. To get started, what you're going to do is you're going to take fabric A, you're going to open it up using a ruler and your heat erasable marking pen, you are going to draw diagonal lines that are one and a half inches apart from each other. You're going to do that for the entire width of the fabric. Once you're done, you're just going to flip the fabric and draw another set of diagonal lines creating like a grid that are crisscrossing each other. Next, you're going to open up fabric B. You're going to lay it flat with the wrong side up and then you're going to get the batting and layer it on top of fabric B. Try to smoothen it out because we want a smooth finish. And once that's done, you're going to layer fabric A, creating a sandwich, which is typically done in quilting. You're going to pin it all in place and you're going to sew all the drawn lines. This will actually create the quilted effect. Now once it's all quilted together, this quilted piece is going to be trimmed down into different sizes and strips. Alright, I know you're wondering what are the sizes that you need your quilted pieces to be trimmed down to. Don't worry, there is a downloadable PDF file showing you all the cutting instructions and all the materials that you're going to need. So go ahead and download that and come back and sew along with us. Now once all the pieces are cut, what you're going to do is you're going to get the two strips. We are going to attach the zipper to both strips. Place the zipper right side facing down. 
you're going to make sure that both edges of the zipper tape and the fabric strip is aligned you're going to clip it in place and you're going to sew it one four inch away from the edge once you've sewn the zipper onto the strip what you're going to do next is you're going to open up the zipper and the strip and on the right side you're going to do a top stitching that is one eighth of an inch away from the zipper tape And you're going to repeat that for the other strip to create your zipper unit. Alright, first step is done. You have sewn your zipper strip unit. Now we are going to work on the vinyl and I have a tip for you in using vinyl. Vinyl is very hard to work with especially if you don't have a special foot like a Teflon foot because it's very sticky and it can actually get caught on the bed of your machine. Now hold on what you're going to do is you're going to get yes a baby powder. So what you're going to do is you're going to just gently sprinkle a little bit of powder and you're going to rub or sweep your hand on the entire surface of the vinyl back and front. This is a very simple tip. It can actually remove some of the stickiness on that vinyl so that it will be easier for your machine to actually sew it together. The next step is you're going to get the zipper strip and you're going to put it or place it face down onto the vinyl you're going to clip it in place and you're going to sew the edge one four inch away from the seam once you're done sewing the vinyl and the zipper strip you're going to do the same step as what you've done on the previous part which is sewing the strip and the zipper you are going to open up the vinyl and the strip and on the right side you are going to do a top stitching which is one eight inch away from the vinyl. Your next step is you're going to get the quilted set and you're going to put the zipper and the vinyl wrong sides down. You're going to clip it all around and you're going to sew one eighth of an inch to close all the edges together. Now we are going to be working on creating the binding for the bag. So you are going to cut two strips of binding from your contrasting fabric. Then you're going to join the two strips together by placing it perpendicular to each other right sides facing. You're going to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner and you're going to sew it in place. Once it's done, you're going to trim away the excess, or you can just actually trim one fourth of an inch away from the stitching line. Now we're ready to sew our binding. To sew the binding onto the bag, you're going to start at the back of the bag. You're going to leave a three to four inches tail of the binding, and you're going to start from the lower right of the bag. Now once you approach the corner of the bag, you're going to stop one fourth of an inch away from the edge. You're going to slightly pivot the bag and you're going to sew all the way to the corner of the bag, creating a diagonal stitching line. Once you're done, you're going to fold the binding up and you're going to fold it downwards. Now this will create folds which will give you that mitered corner in the end once you finish your project. Now you're going to do this on all four sides of the bag. Now once you are on the side that you started with, you are going to stop sewing 3 to 4 inches from that last corner. And that is because we are now going to join the binding strip together. 
Now to join the binding together, what you're going to do is you're going to overlap the tails and you're going to look for the end of the other loose end. You're going to make a mark and once you've made that mark, you're going to make a mark on the left side which is half an inch away from that mark line. You're going to trim the excess and you're going to sew the binding strip one fourth of an inch away from the edge. This will join the binding strip together. Once that's done, you are going to continue sewing the binding onto the bag. Alright, now on to the final step of the process. We are going to fold the binding over to the top side of the bag or to the front of the bag. And we are going to do a top stitching just to secure all the binding edges in place. And just like that, you have created your very own project bag. And as I have mentioned before, I have sewn and made my project on the Brother FS60X. It is actually tough. It's really tough. It didn't disappoint me. I loved it. And if you are interested in getting this machine, check out your local distributor or your local shop and find out the details of this machine. So until then, I'll be back with more projects. Stay tuned, follow us, follow me on Instagram, and until then, happy sewing. Bye-bye.